Hi, today we have co-founders of Food App, and this company is based in Estonia. And we have Payman and Poya from Finland and Germany with us. So explain about yourself and how are you, how you started this company. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, hi, uh, Ajay. My name is Payman. Uh, I'm from Iran and uh, yeah, I'm 30 years old. I have a master's degree in information technology. And uh, I was into entrepreneurship, let's say tech entrepreneurship since I was uh, just 20. And uh, we started Food App three years ago. Uh, the three of us, me and my twin brother and Puya together. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it was uh, quite a lot of journey during this time. And uh, yeah, that's me. I, I work as a senior full stack developer in Germany right now. And you, Puya? Yeah, well, I'm Puya and uh, I've been in Finland for 23 years almost. And uh, uh, well, I'm focusing on fintech and also e-commerce. So I started my first, uh, let's say, startup called Online Food in Finland in 2012. And I just made the exit. Well, it was not quite successful exit, but it was pretty good for me with, uh, uh, with like uh, five years experience. And uh, right now, what we do in Finland is, uh, yeah, we are in, in payment section also, and we also have like, we co-founded also a food app with Payman and Payam in 2018. So uh, since today, we, we have a lot of customers in Finland and we are just now testing the, the Spain market and we are expanding to the Germany, Sweden and Denmark soon, like with, uh, in 2022. And well, thank you for your uh, for your invite, and uh, we will here to answer your questions. Thank you very much. And now, women, I want to know that you started from Iran, and how was the journey? How you started, and how it moved to Europe? Yeah, actually, um, we started two years before two thousand eighteen. Um, the idea started from uh, a small city called Mahabad. It's in northwest of uh, Iran. And me and my twin brother, we had this idea together uh, that uh, we noticed the issue that um, um, there is technology. I mean, technology is advancing. We have internet, but we have small businesses that they are not yet connected and they are not yet using these technologies. So there were quite a lot of reasons for it. Uh, they are not a part of. They were not a part of it. Like uh, the small businesses cannot afford the technology costs, uh, and usually they don't know also sometimes the value of technology and how it can help them. So it's like uh, it were like a lack of both, uh, let's say, knowledge and also uh, the technology costs. So we had this idea that we can make, let's say, start, we can start it with uh, small businesses like restaurants and food deliveries and give them the ability to have their own online ordering platform, anything that they, they need to have to be connected through internet to their customers, just like uh, uh, what happened through history, even with the telephone. Uh, that uh, maybe at first days, nobody knew how telephone can help businesses, but then we had all these uh, uh, telephone businesses that uh, even small businesses use them, uh, even restaurants use them for getting orders. So it was the same for internet, for uh, websites, for uh, applications. So uh, what we did was uh, actually we, we made it less costly for them. We made a very cheap service for uh, restaurants that they can have their own online ordering platform, a platform that they can also use it to connect with their customers, not just for uh, online ordering. Uh, and we uh, help them to uh, have it. Uh, it was, uh, we were very hopeful about it. 
but we didn't know uh, what the market can react, how, how the market may react in Iran to it. So uh, we, we shared the idea to some of our customers and uh, uh, how they may react. They were quite happy about it. And we didn't go further. We just went through developing the application, which uh, was not, uh, I, I think it was a bit risky that time because uh, we didn't made uh, a lot of market research about it. We just started with, uh, with Paya together. And uh, in the first months, we made about 30 contracts, uh, which was a lot. It was like, a, a complete success, success to us. You know, our, we, we, got, we were able to get 30 contracts in just one month with certain different uh, restaurants. And that was a very nice for us. But uh, then we noticed that uh, actually uh, things were not the way that we expected uh, about uh, the Iranian market. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, then we. Uh, after a while, we were also, uh, we got to know each other through uh, LinkedIn with, uh, with Puya. And we, uh, we had a friendship relationship together. We knew that uh, Puya was also into food uh, delivery business startup in Finland. And uh, we exchanged our ideas and uh, many things uh, together. Uh, and uh, then finally, we, um, in 2018, we decided to make a pivot and just focus on the uh, Finland um, uh, market and uh, leave Iran. Okay. So, yeah. um, we, uh, when he talked about the market of Germany, they were totally different in Finland and Iran. So, what were the changes which you? you first met which were the challenges so i mean uh, i think that you know in 2000 i think it was in 2009 when when the first online delivery system started in finland and it was like pizza online and at that time in iran there wasn't any online delivery systems it was like like uh, the, the traditional phone call and uh, delivery system and after three years after Finland, the Iranian market started to, to, to see that, okay, well, that will be also working in, 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 in Iran. And this is the reason why we can see the European market before the Iranian guys see. And I was like, uh, when, 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 I, when, I, when I found them on, on LinkedIn, I was so happy because I was just uh, existing my, my startup and I was looking for something, something special. Because, you know, nowadays, even you are in the U.S. market, even you are in Germany market, in Denmark, in Finland, in Sweden, the people got tired to pay commission. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, the commission is so high. So in Finland, some, some, of, some restaurants paying like 30% of their, of their like sales. And, and the restaurant has been forced to use those systems. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to mention that the, the, the companies, because, uh, you know, uh, it's not good for us, but... but Everyone know that the restaurant is losing 30% of their sales because they use some third party company. And then I told, I told pay, uh, Payman that, uh, yeah, I have like, uh, at that time I had like six year experience and I knew a lot of restaurants, let's say 1000 restaurants in Finland, like personally, I know them. And I told them that, yeah, I, I have a really good experience and you have a really good product and that product also can be worked in EU. But first we have to like change something. Like, uh, you know, the way how people are ordering food in, 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 in Iran, the user experience is totally different than Europe. So we worked around like, uh, if I remember well, we worked around one year on, on a platform and we changed a lot of things. We changed the way how like consumer are ordering. We changed the way how like restaurant owner are getting those orders. So after that, we, we gave it to, to two or three restaurants to test it. And they were like happy with that because they, there was all the futures what third party has, but they paid only like, like uh, 100 euro 
per month. Mm -hmm. And they were happy with that. So we started to expand it. But the difference between Germany market and, and Finland market and Iran market, I say that, okay, the, 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 I, I like, I make some correction on your question. What's the dif difference between Iran market and EU market? Because in EU, we have one standard and it's delivery hero and it's world. And in Iran, there's the same like mentality, but the UX is more, more different. And that's why I can say that, yeah, well, our, our, our product is, is like, it, it's fit, it, it, it had market fit in EU, not in, only in Finland. If, if we move to Germany, we don't have to do anything else than just integrate the, the new payment gateway, what's, what's like popular in Germany and only food, food list, nothing else. We don't, have to, we don't have to change anything, only the language. And so that, that, that's, already, the, that's the group. You have already worked on the back end. So just you have to yeah. work on the marketing part right now to expanding journey. Yeah, yeah of course. Part. So uh, what were the changes? What were the challenges? Uh, you said that there was totally cultural difference from Iran and Finland, which you worked for one year. So what were the major challenges when you were in that field to payment? Um, well, I, I was, a, um, I, I am a tech guy, so I mean, as a programmer, so there, there were many challenges about it, like, uh, for example, uh, there is no Google Map uh, service in uh, Iran that time, at least there, there was no Google Map, uh, just, uh, and um, the payments were different, the, the way that the people, uh, Mm. Uh, order food is different. So uh, even uh, features with food, uh, I mean, all those extra things that uh, we have in uh, European market for foods like gluten-free or add this thing or change something in the pizza or in the food that you like, uh, those features were not available in the Iranian market. So I can say uh, the Iranian product was more like an MVP version for the European product, but we had to make a lot of changes for, uh, to make it ready for the uh, European market. And uh, it, it took us a while to, to make it happen. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, it was impossible to do without Puya because we were not that much uh, that time uh, familiar with EU market. So you helped Puya with the each and everything, and that was wonderful as a co-founder, as a friend you met on LinkedIn, and that was wonderful to have some yes. person who is thinking like you. So uh, next question will be like, what were the things uh, you started from uh, expansion from Iran, then you went to Finland. Now you are uh, headquartered in Estonia and planning to expand in Germany. So what is your future goal? What do you plan to do in future? Uh, so I think yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the future is like uh, what, uh, what we can see for the future is like uh, we want to be like we don't want to be the huge company, but we want to have a happy customers. And the happy customers come from two sides. It comes from restaurant side and it comes from consumer side. And the future, what we are planning to be is like, uh, I mean, when people using our website and using our platform, I mean, as a consumer, they, 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 have, a, they have a same experience or even better experience than the third party platforms. And for the merchants, we, uh, we, we plan to, to support them. We plan to support them that to, to get right of those commission-based companies. That's, that's, it's, it's radical, I know, but you know, I, I, I have uh, like, let's say that I have like eight to nine years experience with, with those restaurants owner and they know that how hard they are working to get money. And I know that how easy they are losing money. And the future is that to make, to make food app available in all EU countries and to make, like, what, to make the, 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 the platform so easy to use and uh, that 
people can suggest us to other to other restaurants. This is our plan, and the plan is like uh, now we have now we are in Finland and we are growing all the time in Finland, and the next step is in Germany, because the German is one of the biggest biggest like uh, uh, markets in the EU, because of delivery hero also, of course, and the the the, the next is Sweden. And also we are looking for the, for the Estonian market, but the Estonian market is so small for us. And we are, uh, what we are planning to do is to expand it to, to Germany for the, for the in 2022 and to just test it there to, 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 to see that how like uh, restaurants, like how, how our restaurants deal with that kind, of, that kind of platform because they have been using Delivery Hero for almost 11 years. And we have to give them like very good experience. This is our plan, and let's see. We are not focusing on right, right now in Canadian or, or USA market, and we are just focusing in EU market. And let's see. With 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 if you with if your restaurant, we want to test it in Germany to see how it's work. And after that, we can we can see the 2000, 2023 plan. So, Payman, uh, I want to ask you, like, what uh, is the functionality of your for the customers for the restaurants? What is the functionality? What are the features you provide to them? Yeah, uh, we actually, uh, at first we started with just the feature, I mean, give it, enabling restaurant to be able to have their own online ordering platform. So it was just like giving them this ability to have a website and Android and iOS application. But then this mindset has changed through time. Now we are focusing on giving them anything related that uh, they can have a better, uh, let's say, um, more sales, happier customers, and anything that we can help them with uh, uh, all the ways that uh, they can deal with their customers. So. Uh, we're more like an all-in-one platform. We help them with, uh, we, we also have a, a CRM platform. We also give them a, a customer loyalty platforms to make their customers more loyal to restaurants. And uh, we uh, also enable them to uh, have very different marketing campaigns for different uh, audience targets. And uh, a lot of other things. And now we are thinking about uh, having uh, a, enabling restaurant to not only manage their online presence, but also their uh, offline presence, like in restaurant stuff. And uh, th that's our uh, goal right now. Uh, from this uh, question raises, like, do you also help them with their digital marketing as well as you are providing uh, your solution to a restaurant? do the uh, digital marketing part covered by your company or they can hire someone else for their own promotions? Um, it's a bit complex. Let, let's say uh, uh, actually the real marketing is on restaurants because it's their website, their applications and their platform. But we do help them, we guide them how to do it, how to go through the different steps and uh, uh, we also help them through giving them uh, very insightful data about their customers, about the behavior of the customers, and uh, anything that they need through data. So uh, we give them very um, knowledgeable uh, and uh, data that they can use to have uh, a better plan for the future. But uh, the main responsibilities for introducing the uh, website is uh, actually on restaurants, but we do help them with SEO, with many other stuff. Uh, and they can call us, they can uh, just uh, speak to us and we, we, uh, we always have some solutions to uh, cu customers. So what are the number of customers which you target through uh, like, uh, uh, what is the user base of restaurants? who can contact you uh, where the transaction would be like a daily transaction of 200 orders or minimum of there is anything any criteria for that who can reach you out Puya or, or which one of us 
Can you can you repeat it again? Your question because yeah. I was like, uh, I'm saying, uh, what is the minimum criteria for using your application? Like, what are the restaurants you are targeting? So the restaurants are like fast food restaurants. I mean, that the restaurants who is right now using regions the food or and world, and the 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 because you know when we are talk about the customers because our customers are restaurants. And the consumer, we 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 yes, now they are asking like, um, uh, what is if the customer the restaurant is your customer, but if they have daily transaction of say uh, fifty orders, so they will be happy to pay you hundred euros per month, or you are targeting more than that, or if there any bare minimum like if someone is getting one order a day, so they will be using your platform. So that's what I am asking. Yeah. So so the, 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 I mean I, I think. The, the main thing for the restaurants, what we calculate all the time is like 10, 10 order per day. It's enough for customers. Mm. I mean, if they get 10 order per day, so it means 300 order per month. Mm. And for 300, the average, the average like uh, payments in, in restaurants are right now 20 to 25 euros. So you can calculate it by yourself that how much they are, they are saving per month. They are saving. We have some customers, okay, they, they get around like 50, 50 orders per day, but we are targeting the 10 orders per day for the first three months. And as you asked before that about, about the marketing, of course, we, we will we, we like give them advice. We help them to make like, I mean, cost effective marketings. Of course, some of them have digital marketing on Facebook and Instagram and Google AdWords and those on, but uh, this is only one part. The other part is like word to mouth and also the, the brochure, what is still like, I mean, uh, still people are using in Finland. And of course we will give them advice, but the, the question, do we do, uh, do we like uh, help them with the digital marketing? No, we don't do because we don't have a time for that. We are just uh, like SaaS. You're focusing on your product. And yeah, but we will try and we will help them to choose the best company for the digital marketings. And of course, we are all the time getting those requests that yeah, you have like uh, around around like 100 restaurants, and is it is it possible to to uh, to like suggest us to them? Of course, we will check the company if everything is good and if they, they have like good services, good customer services. Uh, yeah, why? Why not? We, we, we suggest them, yeah. Okay. So is there anything else which you guys want to share from your kitty? So we can um, say the EU, wait for us. <laughs> wait for us. Yeah. Women, what do you say? Yeah, I, I have the same mindset. Uh, we're going to uh, make the product available for restaurants uh, in EU in a way that they can, uh, that, I mean, our, our main goal is to, uh, to fulfill the, all their uh, uh, online or let's say digital needs through our application. And uh, our main goal is to help them in every way that they, they need this help, but it's going to be costly now. And through our app and SaaS service, it's going to be less costly now. So uh, if you want to connect with these guys, you can go to foodapp.fi and foodapp.ee for the services and yeah. more details. You can go and contact them through the contact form. And yes, it was wonderful talking to you and we wish you very best and for your- Thank you. And, that, and that the last thing what I can, what I can add and uh, like use that, that interview is that we are of course looking for the country managers in every country. It's not based only in like Finland or Estonia or, or Germany. Uh, we are looking actively for the country manager who can, who can help us to, to grow in, in, some, in some other areas also. That's also like more than welcome for us. Okay. So you can find the details on our website as well. And yes, yeah. we will uh, help you out whatever the way we can. Thank you yeah, for thank having, you. Uh, thank you for Sounds being fun. on Founder Talks and it was wonderful having you on this platform. Thank you, Ajay. Thank, thank you. you. Have, a, have a nice day. Thank you.